Man, that food was good. But you know what to top it off? What's that? Some pineapple upside down cake. All right. has a spiky top when you go to touch it it makes you want to stop the pineapple it looks very funny but when you eat it it's yummy to your tummy Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and today I am sharing with you my fourth mate for my Fruity Fashion Collection series which is the pineapple dress. Not only am I showcasing my pineapple dress but this is also a special collaboration with Natita of So National Dane. Natita is a wonderful sewist and she has an amazing channel that features sew alongs, pattern reviews, sewing product reviews, and she also has the Sewing Buzz, which is a monthly roundup of all the pertinent things that are going on in the sewing community. And it also features an interview of someone in the sewing community that has been highlighted due to their skills or the benefits that the person can help to inspire the community. Natita is also known for her bag making skills and she is the host of the annual Black History Patterns Designer Challenge which is a challenge that highlights black pattern designers and I am so excited to be collaborating with her today. So I will go ahead and leave all of Natita's information in the description box below so that you can go over to her channel if you are not already subscribed to see what she made for this collaboration. And if you have not done so, feel free to subscribe to her channel as well as she uploads on Sundays and Wednesdays every week. So she has plenty of content for us. So now Natita and I plan to collaborate way back in the winter of last year and we were going to collaborate on a different pattern from what we are collaborating on today. But we took a different direction to focus our collaboration on a pattern that would be more suited for the fruity fashion collection and would show our fruity prints. So with that being said, Natita and I both sold McCall 7774 and she and I, we both made whichever view that we wanted to make and we also picked our desired fruit. So let's talk about the view that I made. I used McCall's 7774, like I said earlier, and I made view C with the bodice of view D. The pattern description is Mrs. Dresses and views A and B are described as loose fitting pullover dresses that have side pockets and views C and D are described as fitted dresses that have gathers, side pockets, neckline and length variations and a back invisible zipper. The sewing skill for this pattern is set as easy and I totally agree. And the notions that you need to make this dress in particular is a 22 inch zipper and one hook and eye. The pattern sizing for this pattern is 6 to 22 and I cut an 18. And I do think that it looks like the drawing on the pattern. And the instructions for this pattern were very easy to follow. And for the things that I particularly like 
for this pattern is I like the gathers and the bodice option. So this could be open or closed. And then there's your views A and B that have like a V-neck. And I also like the different style designs of the different views because views A and B were much different from C and D. So you can actually get a lot of use out of this pattern by sewing all the views. And I also liked the bottom tier that stands out in view C. Now, the things that I did not like. <laughs> well, here we go again with the sleeveless McCall's patterns. But this is on me because I should have known. And what I'm talking about is the armhole way too big way too big but like i said that is my fault because i should have known i always seem to forget and then i put the garment on and it shows my bra i tried to actually adjust the strap but when i did that the bodice where the seam comes together to meet the skirt it was just way too high up and it was right underneath my bust and it didn't look right so raising adjusting the straps i mean didn't work for that situation but like i said i should have known and i should have measured this armhole or made a muslin before i even did that because that always happens with mccall's patterns when it's sleeveless for me now one other thing that uh, i noticed after the fact which is why i said it's my fault is that if you look closely at the pattern cover i would have noticed how low the models is so i'm going to put a picture in here so you can see how low cut her armhole is too so like i said even on the model it seems low and i don't see how this is some type of fashion trend because it, it, most women wear bras and you're definitely going to see it so i'm assuming the model didn't have a bra on I, I don't know i just don't see how she could have had one on but like i said next time i'm just gonna have to make a muslin and so that i don't make this mistake anymore i think i'm just gonna make like a standard checklist for each time i make a garment and on that checklist i'm just gonna have a check to measure the armhole when it's a sleeveless garment by mccall's and i think that would settle that issue <laughs> the only other issue that i had is the little opening on the front bodice it's kind of flappy but that could have been my fabric choice so that's just a that's an issue with me i don't it has nothing to do with the pattern um so you can scratch that but yeah just know that this is flappy and it doesn't lay flat because of the fabric that i use and i went against my own thoughts and did not add interfacing like i thought i should have um the pattern does not call for interfacing but it also doesn't call for this type of knit i don't think it does call for stable knits but yeah it just didn't work out and i went against what i thought about doing which was adding interfacing so now it's just floppy but i still think it looks okay and i like it <laughs> So the fabric that I use is a micro peak knit. Now I've never heard of micro peak before, but it feels really good. And it's just a little bit thicker than a, um, I can't think of a name. But anyway, it's a micro peak knit and it feels really good. The prints are about the size of the palm of my hand and then the stem of it just spreads out. So I thought that would be really, really nice. And with this pattern being nice and flowy and a lot of fabric um, to the skirt, I thought that this would be a perfect fit for this fabric. I thought the pattern would be a perfect fit for the fabric, excuse me. So I purchased this from Joann's and it was on clearance and I paid about $3.50 a yard and I did get three yards and I, did not make any alterations to the pattern to make this work i didn't make any modifications and but as far as this pattern concerned i would definitely recommend it to others you just need to measure your armholes if you don't want it hanging low because i do think that that is the way the pattern is designed 
and it is a very very easy sole especially views A's and B and I actually really wanted to make view A but I thought that I would ask my husband which view he thought I should make and he came up with this view which is view C with these bodies so I went for it and I am happy with the outcome and uh, the reason why we made this pattern is because this was the choice pattern for the collaboration and the earrings I purchased I will put the brand name in the monitor um, but I picked them up at Myers. I go to Myers a lot it's a grocery store but it also has like clothes in there and things like that um, it's kind of like a Walmart but more spruced up <laughs> but yeah I go there to shop a lot and I picked up this set and I thought it was really really nice and they had carried the brand that I has lost my mind so I have to think about what it is but they carry that brand there and I pick up a lot of jewelry there from time to time because when I go grocery shopping I always stop and look at the accessories <laughs> so now I will go ahead and enter clips and pictures to show you more of this pineapple dress and I will also give you some fun facts about the pineapple so here are your fun facts it takes three years for one pineapple to grow that is ready for harvest pineapples won't ripen any further once they are harvested a single pineapple is made up of over 200 flowers an enzyme in the pineapple named bromelain is used to treat arthritis. And because of that same enzyme, pineapples are used to tenderize meat because the enzyme breaks down protein, hence pineapples on a ham. <laughs> the pineapple is considered a berry. And in America, pineapples are only grown in Hawaii and the rest are grown overseas. So that is it for my fourth garment for my Me Made Fruity Fashion Collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked how my dress turned out. If you did, go ahead and give me a like and stay tuned for the next fruity dress for this series and make sure you check out the playlist so that you don't miss out on any of the videos for the series because like I've mentioned before, I will be having a giveaway in the end and you may need to know some of that information. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure you go to Natita's channel and check her video out and let her know what you think about her dress. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and thank you to all my new and returning subscribers and I will see you in the next video. Bye!